Oh man, have you ever heard the saying, idols becomes rivals? Well, this seems to be the truth since we have another case about this. For those who don't know, DJ Academics has always been vocal that Charlemagne the God was the first guy in the industry that embraced him, replied to his messages and did Academics' first interview. This is the late night creep .com. Stay creeping. Not only that, Charlemagne used to mentor DJ Academics. Here is when shit started getting a little weird. When Academics finally got a podcast deal with Spotify, Ak said that he invited Charlemagne plenty of time to do a podcast, but Charlemagne kept making excuses. Not only did Charlemagne make excuses for Academics, but he kept appearing on other podcast which academics took as disrespect rightfully so so academics felt some type of way but he let it go because he respects charlamagne but this is where he took shit personally charlamagne owns a podcast network named the black effect where charlamagne works with academics enemies people who hate academics like looney from atlanta just hilarious she's not funny at all and my son. So Academics felt away because Charlemagne is working with his enemies. So guess what Academics did recently? He signed Troy Ave. Troy Ave and Charlemagne are beefing because Troy Ave is the reason why Charlemagne's man Tax Stone is in prison. Oh shit, it's getting spicy. So recently Diddy got caught with hell allegations and Academics was Vocal saying that these media personalities are scared to talk about Diddy and he was talking about Charlamagne indirectly. So Charlamagne finally responded, watch this. I saw people saying how there's a lot of people not talking about this situation. And this is what I would say. Hmm. What are you supposed to say? Because mm -hmm. if you're a podcaster, if you're a YouTuber, if you're just a person on social media, you can say all types of stuff. Hmm. You know what I mean? When people say things like, yo, you know, nobody's talking about this. It's because what y'all want people to say is, oh, he did that shit. You know, he it's did sir. that shit. You want us to sound like the Internet. Yeah. And you want us to start talking about, you know, well, I heard he did this then and I heard he did that then. The reality of the situation is you can't do anything except for report about what actually came out mm. in this situation. He got sued. He settled. For all of it? I don't know. I, I, I don't heard know. all of it. Well, if he did, I think the, the, com the conversation we could have without, you know, uh, becoming products of a lawsuit ourselves. Well, we could just say allegedly for everything right now, and then we could start having fun again. But even with that, <laughs> but even with that, what's the, even with that, what's the point of that, though? The point is, I don't know if any of this is true or not. Cheese seems like he's still little bro in academics saying these YouTube personalities, these internet people saying that academics is not yet big enough. So the same day Charlemagne said this, academics jumped on the internet and replied, watch this. I'm just tired of the frauds lying about why they're not speaking about Diddy. I, 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 it really bothers me. I hate fraud shit. And I'm hearing a lot of these motherfuckers now, they, they're copping all type of, please, hey, why would we talk about something where if if we talk about it, we don't really know? Man, stop it. That's y'all jobs. Y'all been doing it for other niggas. Why is Diddy the, why is he the exception? I've seen certain people kind of mention lawsuits. Come on, man. Most of y'all have been in this game longer than me and way more, uh, like, you're way more, you know, complex in how you deal with shit than me. If there was a lawsuit to be given, nigga, I would have got it. Like, listen, y'all could talk about this shit. Y'all just don't want to, but you're being facetious on the reason why. I actually believe a few things. I believe the majority of these niggas who are unwilling to speak about Diddy, I think they guilty too. I'm sorry. Nigga, if, if, if you talk, again, I'm excusing anybody who, when these type of topics come come about with anybody else, they don't talk about it. But if you talk about these type of topics with every nigga but Diddy, you guilty too, nigga. <laughs> Especially if you knew Diddy, Diddy signed you, Diddy paid you, you used to make music for him, you guilty too. I'm sorry to tell you, brother. Something ain't right. The man's watching everybody, and I'm like, yo, listen, this is 
Everybody seems so fake and so fraud because they're not saying the same thing when it ain't Diddy. Let it be another nigga. Let it be another nigga. They got all the commentary in the world. Only with Diddy, they're exercising the most amount. We've never seen. When anybody else has been accused where they're like, yo, we can't comment, we don't know. With this, we can't comment, we don't know. Man, it seems like the relationship is over. Charlamagne is fucking with Akademi's enemies and Akademi's is not fucking with Charlamagne's enemies like Joe Biden and Troy Ave. And it seems like, yeah, man, it seems like the relationship is over. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and comment. I want to hear what you think.